Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching another one of my grocery shopping haul videos. Hey people, welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing today? Hope you're staying safe and aware. Well anyway, yes I'm back again with another video today because I was a little disturbed yesterday when I watched the news and I seen on the news something very disturbing and what that is is in LA I think they said it was in front of the courthouse there were a group of protesters and it was um, anti vaccines and pro vaccines and pro mass anti mass protesters and they got into a scuffle and they began fighting and somebody was injured somebody was stabbed all because folks disagree with how they need to be avoiding getting affected infected with the virus so that was very disturbing watching that just such a scene watching people fighting and carrying on just so angry sign of the beast yes me people angry about how they well how they should be surviving and so fine if folks don't want to wear masks they don't want to get a shot fine so be it but then I seen a YouTube video or was it a I don't do TikTok but I see the people do the TikTok on the YouTube and it was a I think it was on Roland Martin and this guy was saying his wife had has cancer and she got kicked out of the hospital hold on excuse me y'all excuse me yeah the guy was saying that he, he was very upset because his wife was kicked out of the hospital because they sorry about that interruption but that just took my breath away y'all don't know y'all don't know but anyway like i was saying anti-vaxxies and pro vaxxies arguing fighting assaulting injuring folks all because they disagree this is insanity is this what's gonna cause <laughs> the end sooner than we think it is gonna be a lot of people going to hell this is hell 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 i don't know folks a lot of folks i don't know it's just a mess the way things going how you gonna be discriminating against folks because they want a shot against folks that and folks um being angry with each other because they don't want a shot or you want a shot who cares do it or don't do it but don't be stabbing and killing folks because you don't agree with each other why you gotta fight if you want to hold your sign up and say what you believe in do that but fighting and carrying on is just a hot ass mess and we all can see the difference when folks are fighting with each other amongst different races and that was shown in that scene that I seen on the news because it would have turned out a whole lot hell of a lot oh my god horribly it would have went horribly wrong if another group of people were doing that so anyway I just want to put that out there we all know so hell get offended don't offend it but that's the truth you know but anyway moving right along yes I got some more damn groceries up here to share with you people and my family first of all my family yes i got some more groceries folks family on my side of town southern california i think it's food for less yeah they got wieners 88 cents each and bologna 99 cent each they got bacon it's all bar ass brand a uh, three dollars fifty cents so y'all need these products get to the store this week because they do change sales on wednesday is a new sale so if you like bologna hot dogs bacon whatever get your sale stocking up sales on to the store okay and yes i got some other few little canned goods i want to share but back to this um anti-vac pro-vac 
situation. Now, also, I'm thinking because of something I've seen that made me think this. Well, well, made me want to share this with y'all. Whether let me say it that way. Are there subliminal messages coming from unvaccine preppers saying avoid vaccine preppers? If y'all understand what I'm saying, leave it in the comments because we got a whole lot of unvaccine preppers saying what they doing, what they believe. You know, they anti-vaccine, anti-mask. And a whole bunch of anti, anti, anti. Then you got the pro vaccine, pro mass preppers that do what they do and believe what they do. So I don't know why we just can't just be for whatever you're going to be for without discriminating or having folks, you know, be against another group of people. So, if y'all think, well, you ain't got to think. Like I said, I heard this stuff. I seen this stuff. I watch a lot of different kind of videos. And I've seen some very disturbing videos. And I don't even know how they made it on YouTube, but they're on there. And I did mention in my last video about some threat supposed to be occurring. And that means more fighting, more civil unrest, all that kind of stuff. That's why I told y'all, shit, staying in the house and not staying in the house. To, uh, shit gonna go down. But, shit, my crippled self, well, I call myself, I'm gonna stop saying crippled, but I got bad arthritis in my knees. Let me put it out there. I already put it out there anyway. And if you know what arthritis is, young folks got arthritis too. It's very painful. It's horrible inflammation. Horrible inflammation. But anyway, especially when it's cold. But anyway, back to this to this subject. Yes, yeah, subliminal messages are coming. Y'all so um the anti folks so against um a bunch of stuff in government, whatever. But them little earphones y'all wearing without wires. How y'all know you ain't getting subliminal messages all up in there? But I do think that anti-vaccine preppers are sharing subliminal messages in some of their social media posts y'all agree or don't agree just leave it in the comments i'm just sharing things that i have heard seen the video whatever this is not me just making up stuff but y'all want to Check out the news, what I'm telling you about in Los Angeles, California, in front of the courthouse. I believe there were protesters fighting amongst each other because they can't stand the ones that wear masks or the ones that don't wear the mask. So, I don't know. It's just a hot-ass mess, sign of the beast, you ask me. Things of which are going to be cometh very, very soon. If it ain't happening now, yes, stuff is going downhill fast. So, anyway. Let me finish sharing my groceries, but that's just something I want to put in the, on my video. Make conversation if y'all got any um, comments or you want to share input, put it in the comments, please. It's very appreciated. Folks want to know what you what you think. They might not care, <laughs> but it's nice to share. But anyway, yeah, I got me some carrots. That's a good staple in the pantry. Still stocking this pantry up. Bit by bit, it don't even matter. Just food is here. I got enough food. I got enough food. I don't know. Shoot, I got enough food. Five years, you ask me. You don't be a greedy some, you know, some bitch. You don't need to be greedy. And then, you know, like I say, you cook from scratch. You got flour, cornmeal, sugar, baking powder, salt. And you can get powder eggs. You get a lot of powder ingredients. If folks don't know, they got powdered butter, powdered milk, powdered eggs, powdered cream, powdered, powdered products are out there. So you go on a research journey and try to find those items for yourself. But anyway, yeah, you cook from scratch, get your cookbooks, whatever. Hello, people. That's, um, you know, down there in the basement. How y'all doing? I'm communicating with you. Whether you like me to communicate with you now, you watching videos and stuff, however you doing it. Hello, how y'all doing? How y'all doing down there? What y'all doing? 
I'm curious it's how y'all live. I know y'all bought all that food down there, water, whatever. It takes tons of it to live underground. I can't wait till the walking dead come. I know I'm going way off subject, but let me get back to this grocery. <laughs> okay. I got some cream style golden sweet corn because I want to put that in some cornbread when I make some cornbread. I really don't like eating cream corn just out of the, just like for a meal. Ugh. But I'll put it in some cornbread or something or mix it with some, but it's disgusting by itself to me. It's just so ugh, runny. I don't like that runny looking stuff. But anyway, what else I got? I got some enchilada sauce. I like enchilada sauce. And uh, I got Bruce yams. I got some diced potatoes. These things, these um, veggies in the can and fruits in the can, it's nice to have if you don't do canning. Because the uh, fresh ones will go bad, especially I had made a video. I just run off the mouth. That just that's just me. But I made a video once. Um, where is it? It might be in my garden playlist. And I said that uh, I was telling y'all with sweet potatoes when they start growing roots on them, eyes and all that, they're no good anymore for you to use. You have to either plant it or toss it in the trash. And you can't cut up raw yams and store them. You have to cook them first and then store them because they don't taste right. You don't know what you're doing. You got to definitely cook yams and then you can put it in your freezer. And also, well, that's the reason why I'm saying this because you can't keep fresh yams as long as you can keep something in the can. It can last longer. So that's a good idea to buy your yams in the cans. You got, see, I got them diced new potatoes, potatoes in the can. Because potatoes grow eyes and roots all on them. They need to be planted. You can't be eating that, especially when they get all soft. Ain't no good. So yeah, so get you some potatoes, some yams, some carrots and stuff like that for your stockpile. And family, remember I tell y'all about the Bar S products on sale at Food for Less. And also, I don't know if people got Kroger, but uh, Ralph's, I don't know if it was, was it Kroger or Ralph's? Kroger and Ralph, they got some sugar. I think it's four or five pound bag of sugar. And if you go on that digital online site, and click on that coupon up to five times you can get that bag five pound bag of sugar or it's four pounds one of the two for 99 cents so if that sounds good to some of y'all y'all better check it out i think a lot of y'all got kroger in that same deal go online kroger.com and click on digital coupons and you'll see that sugar you can get it for 99 cents you can get five up to five bags but you have to use the coupon so i hope i shared some good information for somebody that needed sugar at a very good price so anyway leave y'all in some input sharing concerning about the anti-vax and the pro-vax i know a lot of people don't, don't care but a lot of people do care because it wouldn't be so much you know chaos and confusion behind it but um uh, if preppers if the unvaccine preppers don't like me for being a vaccine prepper then come on over here and say so in the comments all your comments are welcome well let me let me change that not all your comments are welcome if you're saying something crazy you won't get through because on my comments let me let y'all know if some of y'all don't know i got it set where i can see what the comment is before i allowed to come on my channel so be respectful be whatever you're going to be, but say it in a respectful way, even though it's going to be, <laughs> as if it's going to be insult, but just say it respectfully, okay? And then, you know, we can go for there. But anyway, share your messages, say, I mean, share your um input if you want to. Yeah, so subliminal messages are in everything, smart TV, smart phones, those earplugs and anything else, they got smart, believe me, y'all think, uh, the vax the vax vaccine is a problem issue uh what about subliminal messages in smart social media products whatever you want to call it whatever y'all call it these days leave your input in the comment section be respectful and um uh, i think that's about it i think i shared all these groceries yeah y'all might see some dr pepper cream soda peeking out from back there 
But anyway, just wanted to share some candles still stock in the pantry. I'm finna let y'all go because I've spoken too long and I hope I made sense. Um, so a lot of stuff that could be said, but y'all just say it in the comments. Share your input. Bye for now. Till the next one. I hope this grocery haul was a pleasure to watch. And I hope it helped you guys remember something that you might have forgot to get from the store. Once again, thanks for watching.